So this video is to explain to those people who keep asking, what am I doing and what crazy contraption is Joe Boy building now? To so explain a little bit about what this is and why it works. This is an aquaponic system. Uh, we start off with a 500 gallon tank that contains a large quantity of fish. In this case we only have one, but it's a big one. And it's a bottom feeder and it's just cleaning the tank while we get it uh, primed and, and ready for um, the actual crop, which we're hoping to be tilapia. So uh, we've got an aerator and you can see all the bubbles coming up and a secondary aerator for emergency backup, a valve system and uh, uh, so we've got a lot of water flow. And the water comes through a grate in the bottom of the tank, rises up, goes across and into a swirl filter. That is where the particulates are then removed from the water, separated, and then that, um, the swirling motion allows that to occur. And then it drains out into the sump tank. And the sump tank is over there, I'll move past. The only electrical that we actually need, I run on a UPS, and that is an aerator so the fish don't die. And then the actual pump that's in the sump tank. It's only one single pump, and it's 145 watts and so it draws less than half of the power of a computer. And we'll move on the side here and go to the sump tank. The sump tank is located here. And we have 10 goldfish in there and a pump as you can see there. The pump runs a line up this way and there's a valve that goes back to the main fish tank. This is of course the valve coming from the fish tank and pouring back in the sump tank. After you follow this valve, you get to the first bed where we're preparing the grow bed. And then the second bed is along this way. Goes to the second bed. In the center over here, you'll see what we call a bell siphon. And we can go ahead and remove this. And if you look inside, you will see that the bell siphon is... Um, raising and lowering the water in the device so if I pull this out <clears throat> it simply has a pipe that goes along the side that creates the siphon and there's the water level rising and as soon as it reaches the top it'll start spilling into it but with this particular uh, rubber hose it actually creates a seal so it won't actually stop emptying out the container until after it gets to the bottom level of this, of that plastic tube, which then starts air coming in, breaks the siphon, and fills the tank back up. It's set up to uh, uh, go in, drain, and uh, uh, refill approximately every 15 minutes. And there's another one over here. Until this one is almost getting ready to drain, you see how high up it is. Then I have the MFT track. This is something that I added on just to experiment with. And we've got a water level over there. And that gives water just along the bottom of all these. This is where we can plant our seeds. And get plants ready to go uh, completely without soil and then moved to the actual plant bed. Underneath the plant bed is a 100 gallon tank, and the 100 gallon tank, its purpose is to be able to uh, fill up and keep the same level of water as a sump tank and uh, make it easier to uh, move a large quantity of water from one spot to another and uh, allow us to do repairs and so forth when need be. The swirl filter that we discussed is over here, its relief valve is down there. And the uh, piping isn't really much. I mean, it's just enough to get um, from there, from the uh, main tank to the uh, uh, swirl filter. But uh, we've added some release valves just in case we have to do work on the screen. And then, of course, we have the uh, turn on and off valves to be able to control it when uh, uh, we need to take things apart or work on it. Don't want to do that much, but we want to salvage as much of the water as we can when we do work on things because it's a dechlorinated water that um, is getting good algae in it and we want to maintain and save that algae. So there's the MFT, 
the sump tank, and the main beds. Any questions, of course, please leave a comment, and we'll see whether or not we can answer it for you.